hello internet welcome to another antenna tutorial this tutorial is in continuation to the previous tutorial of Yagyu the design now in this tutorial I'll be recommending a software and you can find the download link in the description and this is the name of the website vk5dj.com and you'll find the download link right in the middle of the page this works just fine for windows i'm currently running 64-bit windows so this is working just fine you simply need to download the installer which looks something like this and once you have installed it onto your machine it looks something like this the best thing about this software is that it is extremely low on resources very very easy to comprehend and there are no cluttery menus on the top you can see there are only three uh, things on the top file task and help and uh, out of these we need to go to task and design Yagi now in the previous video I designed Yagi for let us say 85 megahertz and I'll keep the number of directors as 8 and I'll keep the rest of the things as they are uh, in the default mode and then I simply need to click on calculate now it shows the result on the screen which are very easy to interpret for example the first thing is Yagi design frequency is this much so it calculates the wavelength automatically then it says that the radiator length should be uh, almost half of this 35 27 mm which comes out to be 1671 a little less than that and the radiator length should be 1671 in case you're using a single dipole it should be 1712 in case you're using a folded dipole now the reflector at the back should have the length of 1734.6 mm which is approximately 5% uh, longer than the radiator as discussed in the previous video so this this guy has automatically calculated everything now you can see the directors it shows all the directors ranging from number one to number eight the first director is five percent smaller than the main radiator or the active element which should be a folded dipole or a single dipole so it comes out to be 1608.5 mm and it's spaced at 264.5 and the boom position is also mentioned here so I'll not go into uh, the interpretation option of all the things here but as you can see this is super easy to um, use and if you're working on a design problem it can save a lot of time and it gives you so many additional options for example you can go to task I'll go to back I'll go to task and then you have an option of gain and gain calculation then you have option of stacking furthermore you have option of calculating standing wave ratios and impedance and the best part about this software is that it comes with a manual and you could take the print out of this manual uh, for example if you want to calculate the standing wave ratios it tells you how how you can do it and what is the interpretation of 
all the uh, boxes that you see there and I hope this recommendation quick recommendation on Yagi the calculator in continuation to the previous tutorial was helpful thank you so very much for watching this video if you found this video helpful then please consider subscribing this channel and have a good day and a good life bye